Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel. I have a project share as part of a guest designer for Scrap Diva Designs and Erica, who is a Scrap Diva Designs, had sent me a whole bundle of her dies that she designed and I did a video of the unboxing of the dies that she sent me. I'll put the link down below for you so you can have a look at all the dies. Now some of the dies have not yet been released and they are the Valentine's Day theme uh, dies. They are just gorgeous dies and they're a great size as well. Uh, so they're not readily available uh, at her online store but there are dies that I'm going to share with you um, in this video that are available uh, right now and you can also use my 10% uh, discount a coupon code down below uh, and it's septeria and you'll be able to get your 10% discount on your order as well uh, so I want to share with you a couple of uh, projects that I had uh, made with the designs uh, sorry, with the dies that um, I have here in front of me. I'm also going to uh, show you a couple of the dies that I'm currently working on and one of the dies I am in love with and you can do so much with that die set and I'll show you that as well. Uh, but this is um, Scrap Diva Designs uh, social media links and I'll put that down below for you so you could also head over to her YouTube channel and she has two Instagram accounts as well uh, and you can have a look at, at the other designs from other design uh, team members for some inspiration as well um, but these are the three dies that I use for these two projects that I'm going to show you and I'm also going to uh, show you how to assemble uh, one of the dies um, as well just in case you decide to purchase that die and you can um, want to know how to put it together uh, but this gorgeous uh, flower set die this is not yet available it is coming soon and it is one of her most uh, popular ones uh, uh, from her store when she earlier had opened her uh, website and it was sold out um, so she has restocked these but um, they're not really available yet but I'm going to show you in my next video how to put the flowers together if you wanted to layer them and I did add one of these flowers in the project um, as well that um, I'll show you uh, this is the project that I've made uh, that I'd completed it's the sunglasses die set it is just so cute and it's a great size and uh, you get the the base and you get the two hearts and then the frame part for the uh, sunglasses and you can make this into a shaker and you could also use these heart shapes uh, just for other projects and um, make them as a heart embellishment so you can use these in two different ways and that's what I like about her dies there are different ways you could use the die sets not just for the one particular project and uh, th that's uh, why I like all of her dies. Uh, this one here is amazing like there are so many dies on this one you get the oval shaped nesting die and the circle shaped nesting die I'm just going to turn it this way so it doesn't fall out and then on the other side are some more of the oval and the circle dies as well and they are two different uh, pattern edging on it this one has the uh, embossing edging or the swirl kind of um, etching this one has a stitching and I haven't I did use these I use these dies in this project so let me show you what I made so I did make the sunglasses uh, die and this is what I had made and it just turned out really cute and there's a little bits and pieces for the as a shaker it's just turned out really cute so this is the whole uh, set of the die that I made and then I adhered it to the two oval shape nesting dies which were these ones I just can't quite remember which ones I use, but I use two of the smaller sizes. I think it's these two that I used. Or is it this one? So it was actually the third one from the, the third one from the top. And then I use this one here. So I use these two 
as the background for the sunglass shaker and then this is a heart shape which was the heart that popped out of this part here when you run it through your die cutting machine so you get two heart shapes you get the frame and you also get the uh, cutout part which is this one so I didn't want to waste it so I just popped that at the back I use some uh, foam dots to make it more dimensional and it was just so much fun to make. I like the way it shakes and I haven't made a shaker a shaker for a little while so it was it took me you know to try and get back into the swing of things to try and uh, create these shakers but um, I managed to get through it and then this uh, flower uh, embellishment is part of this set here and all I used was the smaller size and I ran two of those pieces out to place it on this side just to decorate the frame and then the actual frame had two holes on each side and I just punched um, I added a tassel and a little pom-pom kind of thing on the end just to dangle the edge and some string and a little sequence and then I just added some rhinestone flat back rhinestone just to add more bling so that was really fun and this would be perfect to add to the cover of a mini album you could use this as a bag topper and cut out um, a long piece of paper fold it in half into a rectangle uh, size and then you can adhere this to the uh, folded part of the paper and then you can create a bag topper for this um, or you can gift it this way to a crafty friend and they can just have it displayed right there on their craft desk or you can add it onto a plain card to create a greeting card or a birthday card or you can use this as a tag and you can write something on the back so there's a couple of ideas for you and what you could do with that and then I also made so these are the pieces that I use for the sunglasses. So I'll put these ones to the side up here. I then made, um, I use the pillow box purse, which is this one here. This is a smaller size and it comes in a medium size. And I think there is a three piece set as well, where you can get the small, medium and large pillow purse size die set. And even this one, this is a perfect size. And I made this for the uh, reason that I wanted to uh, use it as a pillow box, gift box for my daughter's birthday. She'll be 24 in January. So I wanted to make this uh, uh, as soon as I can and then decorate it so I have it ready for me to package um, her present in there. So these are the two pieces that come in the... Uh, set and you also get these extra little pieces. I put it in a little seal bag and these are This is like the zipper pull and Then you get these cute little uh, little pieces like a little heart the bow and a little oval shape and they're the little attachments that you would glue onto here, which is like the zipper pull of the pillow purse and I'll show you what it looks like and then so you've got a few there to choose from now so this is uh, one of the little purses that I made and there are three ways you could make it uh, so this one here is I've just left this one plain so to make this one you only need to cut this one here and you just need to cut two of these and it's the one that's got the stitching around the edge and then you just run two of these on uh, through your cutting machine so you get two pieces to create the pillow box and then you won't need to use this one this one here is the layering piece which i also didn't uh i did make which i'll show you in a minute and i'll show you how to assemble this is the tutorial that i'm going to show you how to assemble the pillow purse so let me just put these away up here so i'll come back to the purse so this one here uh, is just a simple so this one has an opening on the side so it's got the pillow um, shape opening it on the side where you can 
then place your goodies in here. It'd be perfect for jewelry, for some little sweet treats or um, some of the wax seal melts. You can add some of those and place them in here. So that's this one. This is the like the opening and the closing of the purse, but I've sealed that part. So you open it just from this side here, or you can open it from this side as well. And then I punched a little um, thumb notch here with my circle punch, just so that it's easy to open. And it's a cute little box. I also added a tassel just to decorate the handle and a little flat back glitter embellishment. And then on the back here is that zipper pull that I had uh, showed you with the die. And then I used the heart for the uh, pull tab. This is the zipper. And then I used the heart for that part. So that's one way to create the gift box. And then I, or this is the one that I had made for my daughter that I'm going to be gifting. Um, I'm going to be putting in here a Pandora charm she has a Pandora bracelet so I wanted to use this box to place a Pandora charm in there as well as a pair of uh, stud earrings she wants some stud earrings so that she could still wear some bling to work because she works for um, both my daughters work in disability so they uh, work with uh, people with disabilities and they love their work and although they love wearing jewelry they can't wear jewelry so they can wear studs and she asked for some uh, stud with a bit of bling so i thought this would be a perfect little handbag um, gift box to add that in here and um, both my daughters always like to go a little bit extra when they go out and when they get dressed up so this would be definitely tiana's style and um she's going to love this cute little handbag so i've used an embossing folder to uh, run the um, die through the die cutting machine so what i've done was i cut the handbag size out which is the one with the stitching so i ran two of those through the machine and then I placed my embossing folder over it, then ran the um, ran it through the machine, and then it gave me my um, embossed pattern, which is this one here. I uh, added a little tassel, and I did some layering. These are the layering pieces, um, which is wherever the gold part, these are the layering pieces. And it is then, you will cut this piece out. And then when you run this through the machine, you'll get all the little pieces um through the machine but i'll show you in a, in a second all the pieces i just wanted to show you uh, tiana's little gift pillow box purse i really love this i think this is just so pretty um so that's the uh zip pull with the little bow and then i did add all of these little extra charms and little pieces because i think she's gonna love this and this one opens up from the top with some velcro so then i will put her um, pandora beads in here and maybe even a gift card if that will fit in here and so that would just be a perfect little bag look at that it's just cute i love this this is just beautiful so this is uh, the other one. So you can open it two ways. The other way you can open it, which I'll show you in the um, when I assemble it. So let me bring the pieces. We'll start with this part. So as I mentioned, you're going to run two pieces uh, with the one with the stitching. Uh, I what I normally do when I get dies with all of the pieces um in the set like this and sometimes i still i'm still trying to work out what is what in the set so i usually just grab one of my not so pretty papers or just plain cardstock i'll run each of the pieces through the machine and then i will lay them all out then i'll know what part is for what piece and what will you know what will lay it on to what other piece and that's just another guide for me then i'll have that as a sample and then that way i don't get confused at what part i need to put where 
so um, as so as I was saying you want to cut two pieces this is the one with the stitching this will be the base to create your uh, little pillow box purse and if you wanted to do some layering so I've cut my two pieces out if you wanted to do some layering like I've done here uh, you will then cut only one piece of um, your pattern paper or whatever it is that you want to layer uh, using this one here and this one will have all the solid lines going across and the solid lines indicate where it's going to cut so that's how you'll know and so I've done that already so when you run that part through the cutting machine you're going to get all of these little pieces so you get this piece here and you'll get these two little extra pieces that will go along the side of your pillow box and then you'll get this part here which is the purse handle and the closure for the purse so there will be four pieces and if you wanted to add your zip pull you will also run this one through the machine and your choice of your zip pull piece as well which I didn't run that one I actually forgot to run that through the machine so let's put this together so the first thing you want to do is um, you're going to see down the bottom here you've got these score lines so you want to fold down those score lines it's the same with the um, other side as well so you want to fold both of them down and you're going to put some glue to one side on the inside so I'm just going to I think I'll fold this one a little too. okay so I'm just going to apply glue to one side of the inside tab or a little for the flap just go over that and you want to now place that fold on top of the other fold so that the two folds are meet and that part where you've added the glue will get glued to the front and then on the inside you see this one here hasn't got any glue you're going to put some glue in there so that that will get sealed to that part should line up nicely once it's all glued so that's just trying to make sure it's all nice and straight and then once that's done you're going to uh, gently fold these sides in and it will want to sort of form that pillow shape once you've done all of that and then what you'll do now you're going to bring these two to the front and then slide them to the back I'm just gonna fix this one so they're gonna go like that and then you can see that it's going to form into a pillow box but I think I'm going to go this way so my suggestion is wherever you've got that flat part at the back you want to wrap these to the front so that way it just all looks nice and neat you don't want to go that way because that's you don't want to see that so just bring these to the front and then you can decide now whether you want to have these sides as your opening if you want them to be your opening you're going to bring this one down and fold that in and line it in there because we only need one closure for the purse. If you want, you can just cut that out with a pair of scissors and remove it. I like to just fold it and it just gives a nice fold. And I'm going to just close that off. Gonna 
interested in there because we don't need that part. So all your folds will be these two folds and that one. And then they're all going to go like that. So if you decide you want to create a pillow box before you seal it, if you have a, a thumb notch uh, or a circle punch, you're going to put a thumb notch on the inside flaps. So I'll just do that first and just do a little one there. And on this side. It just makes it easy to open up the pillow box. And then what you'll do next, you're just going to seal off. Um, sorry, you're just going to, let me just put this up. You are going to bring this part over, close that up a little bit like that. Bring this down and press it, hold it down. And then you're going to apply glue all along here and that will seal that off. And then you've got your two openings on both sides and that will do that way. If you want to have it with the closure with the Velcro, you'll just do exactly the same. You'll just instead glue this down and then glue that down. So I'm just, I'll glue one side down so we can see how it looks. I'll just put one side with the pillow box open. And then you can just add some Velcro and then that will give you your closure. Or the other way, if you don't want to have any of these, um, you want to have just a top opening, you'll just close both sides. And then you're going to bring this one down on the inside. And then you're going to glue that one down. Oops. Let me just so I'm just gonna and then I'm gonna go and I'll glue this side as well. Because you know how to do the pillow box opening now. And this is more than it's like a little tote bag without the uh, hand or without the handbag closure. So that is that one, and then it just opens up that way, just like that once it's all glued. So it's just like a a handbag with an opening. So that's the other way to make the first pillow box. So that is all done that way. And then I've got the layering pieces here. If you decide you want to layer your box, this will go in the front. Or you can cut two more, then you can cut another one here. So you can cut uh, two sets. So that one can go in the front. Just see, so this would be in the front. I would normally glue the layering pieces before I assemble the box. Didn't add enough glue. Okay, so that one goes on here. And then you have these two uh, side pieces, and that's for the side of the box. I'll just put one on one side. I didn't put enough glue on the front. And then I'll put the other piece. easier when you have the paper flat to assemble the layering pieces so that is the sides and that's the front and then you can uh, cut through another piece to do the back as well as for the handle and then with the handle that will go along here that way and then you have your little flap as your closure 
So I will stick that down. If you don't want this part as your closure, um, you can just cut that out and just do the handles only. So that is that part done. And then you will have this part as your closure. So it's actually pretty straightforward to, um, once you've cut your shapes out of the machine, you'll have an idea now of what everything is. So there's your opening, and then you can add um, your Velcro dot to glue that down. And then you can add some dangles, some charms, you can add some embellishing, um, you can add more uh, a flower, you can add anything you like. And there is your little purse pillow purse in three different ways with the closure with the side opening or with no um, no lid or no closure and it just becomes like a tote bag so I hope this was a, a fun tutorial and project share for you and I will be back with some more oh I did mention before I go these are the uh, other dies I'm working on at the moment this is the second like pocket envelope I think it is and you get two sizes so I'm just working on these for the Valentine's Day theme and we're not too far away from that and this is the one that I'm working on which I love this I think is like a must-have if um, if you love working with playing with heart shapes um, and perfume bottles or anything like that this is great because I've made I'll show you a couple of different ideas on what you can make with these other than just your uh, perfume bottles so I hope you will join me for the next project share video with these uh, coming projects as well as how to put these flowers together so I hope I'll see you next in my next video and I'll see you all soon bye for now